When Artec introduced the Artec Ray, it was quite a different device than the handheld scanners that we had been processing in Artec Studio. And the data coming from the Artec Ray sometimes benefits from different handling. I'm going to talk to you about a special tool that is just for Artec Ray data called the Ray Scan Triangulation. So what we're seeing here is two scans that I took with the Artec Ray from two different positions in the same parking lot. And I've already pre-aligned the data. First thing to point out is that these are absolutely massive data sets. I used the highest settings for the sharpest resolution with the Artec Ray. And when I created this sharp fusion with five millimeter resolution, the results are stunning. I've got really good detail here, but it took about 35 minutes to calculate. Now that's great. That's the best results that we can get. But if I wanted something faster, that's where we would use the ray scan triangulation, which is only for Artec ray data. It's a much faster way to get a mesh that we could just export and use for reverse engineering or possibly just use as a preview. Now, there's a lot of settings here. I'm not going to go through them all, but the most important one is probably this decimation ratio. This allows us to reduce the number of points that go into the start of the calculation, which speeds things up. But even with a decimation ratio of one, this is going to go much faster than a regular sharp fusion or smooth fusion. In this case, it's going to take about 8 or 10 seconds. And note that we get two separate meshes, one for each scan. The ray scan triangulation cannot combine multiple scans from the Artec ray into one mesh. It also doesn't give us quite the resolution. This is a bit coarser. But another thing I want to point out when we look at the mesh is that we get variable triangle size. Notice how it's spacing out the triangles to be different shapes and sizes depending on the distance that the points are from one another. And that can be quite useful when we take a scan with the Artec Ray that perhaps has some objects like the, uh, the truck that are really, really close to where I was scanning and others that are really, really far away. Remember, the Ray can take data anywhere between uh, just two or three feet away from its face up to 110 meters. That's pretty wild. And you get some very different uh, results out of that. The ray scan triangulation is also capable of showing the colors that were captured by the color cameras on the Artec ray, which can be useful, especially if you're trying to pick out a particular object. Again, the sharp fusion is still the best, sharpest geometric results that we're going to get. And just to further take a look at things like this fire hose and the brick walls that I've captured, there's really good detail here. The truck, you can almost even see the uh, Ford F-150 logo. But the ray scan triangulation is a really useful tool to have in our tool belts when we're using the Artec Ray. Thank you very much.